Bonjour afternoon, my lovely friends. We just had a wonderful meeting. We're gonna be doing some wonderful things around our house. Things are gonna change. It's gonna look wonderful. Look what my beautiful Stay wife made me. She actually sounds much better today. Much better. But my ribs are the worst part Her now. ribs what hurt from happened? coughing so much. I got a nice little quasi Dilla. We're gonna head over to the nursery. You gotta go do look some stuff this. at the officina. Look at this. This is gold. We need to do this for Laura in the kitchen. What are we thinking? We really should. Sour cream and salsa. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm talking about. I made some pasta because I missed my nana. You miss your nana? I miss your nana too. I, I miss your nana. This morning. It was a terrible mess. I miss Sal and Elena. I miss her whole family. <coughs> One thing I always loved about, and if you don't have a sense of humor, don't watch this channel. That's all I gotta say. One <laughs> thing I always loved about Laura's family is from day one, they were hilarious. Like, we, we're very lighthearted. We try not to let things bother us. Obviously, there's certain things that bother us, like having to leave family. But, but when it comes, when it comes to being just fun and... Mind, this is what I try to live by every day. The world is so cruel. If yeah, you just need love just, everything. Be happy. Love people. Be happy. Even be if genuine. there's a language barrier and you don't understand what each other's saying, have fun. Make, make it fun. And I think everybody appreciates that. And I kind of can't wait to see their reaction to our stuff here when they come because they're gonna be me in that situation. I know. And, um, and so it's gonna be a lot of fun. And we didn't we didn't tell them, and hopefully they're not having a translator watch them with this because I know Elena watches these videos. Don't say it, don't we say it. We have a little something and it's gonna be fun and we're gonna tell you about it when, we can't even tell you guys because okay. in case they're watching, urgh, but it's gonna be fun. And we're gonna go somewhere, somewhere fun. Look, I made some meat sauce because you wanna make some lasagna? But for now, I got some big tuba Tony for me. Mm, tuba it's, Tony. It's like my nana makes it. That's when uh, Uncle Tony plays a tuba. <laughs> we got some sauce back here. Something sizzling on this pan. It's scaring me. I'm getting out of here. I'm gonna get it's burned. It's wet. I don't know if you guys can see how tall this corn is, but this is the field where I had the horse cockadoo that one time. That was so smelly. It's a, it's it was. Fantastic river, it? Look how fast it is. You can see it's like a. I'm trying to not shake, but it's hard. It's like above. I mean, it's huge. It's way tall. Ow, my ribs, my ribs. How tall do you think it is? Five, six feet. Some of it's taller than that in the middle. Yeah, so You know, I got a bone to pick. I got lots of bones to pick, as you guys noticed over the years. I got a bone to pick with the state yeah, of New Jersey. Like... If anybody from the state of New Jersey, Department of Motor Vehicles is watching, <coughs> can you do me a big favor? What's that? And make it so I can auto pay my registrations. You know, when you, when you have something that expires every year, it's not like a light bulb goes off in your head. It's like my, every Monday is trash pickup. You remember every Monday is trash pickup because it's every Monday. But if something's annual, the only thing I remember every year is my birthday just because I don't want to know about it. That's the only thing I remember. I'm not going to remember to look in my glove compartment and make sure my vehicle is registered. I got pulled over yesterday and ticketed because the registration expired eight days ago on the Audi. And here's how it went down. Ride along. I'm not. I don't. I don't promote not registering your car, breaking the law. I don't. But all I'm saying is, it should auto renew, so I don't have to. I never got the paper. To be fair, that's my note. That's my reminder. Is that the piece of paper shows up in the mail? I fill it out and I, I re-register. I never got it. Never came in, and I still checked the mail at the old house. Never got the paper. Okay. So my point is, it should be able to auto renew. And when the cop pulls you over and tickets you and charges you the fifty dollars, whatever it is for the ticket. Why can't he also pull out a credit card swiper and pay for the registration for me for the next year? So I'd be like, here, charge me a hundred bucks, 50 for the ticket, and 50 to renew the registration for another 12 months. Come on, you got the technology with the cameras on the car. That's what caught me was the cameras that automatically read the license plate. By the way, Wait, Dave Pro, my friend Dave, if you're watching Dave, he's the guy who installed those cameras yes. on the police cars around here. Thanks a lot, Dave. So we're gonna go check out a nice little Rita's. I think I might get something. Yeah. I just don't like the cream. Why do they have to put cream? Know. But then I feel like I'm doing I'm doing it wrong if I don't get the cream. Wait, there's no handle. How do we go in? Oh. Is that everything you wanted more? Well, I can't taste, but it feels soothing. Well, then why would you care if it was lemon or just water? Just tell them to put blended up water in there with cream. So it was absolutely nuts at the nursery today because we have new a new rack program that we're starting with a big customer and. These were designed while I was in Italy, so I didn't get a chance to see them. And these types of things can wobble and break in shipping. And I didn't notice something that should have been addressed sooner, right before they shipped it. So it got fixed. Anyhow, it was like nuts, right? It was absolutely bizarre. And that wasn't the only thing going on. There was like five other orders going out at the same time. And um, anyway, anytime there's something new, you want to get it right the first time, get everybody trained. 
you know. So anyhow, we're gonna head home. I'm gonna make some burgers with broccoli rabe. Oh yeah, burgers with broccoli And some broccoli. fries, because you know, we already got ice cream, so we might as well. Might as well just do it up. What a beauty! What a beauty. Look what she made me. We have a broccoli rabe burger right there. We got garlic fries with actual garlic on, made with the fries. Mm -hmm. This is my diet, folks. This is the, the uh, this will cancel it all Listen, out. Listen, right? it's a terrible, 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 terrible day outside in terms of weather. It's like thunder and storming and stuff. We got lightning. I feel like I can't even move. So when in doubt, comfort food. That's right. <clears throat> it's getting wicked out there, guys. I love the, the mop, by the way. Nice touch. I know because I'm trying to post this picture on Instagram and it keeps, you know how Instagram is like, we'll keep saying re entry, re entry. Whoa! All I'm I saying is, my mouth out there to it's drive. like a windsock. I get to see what direction the wind's coming from when I look out. I like it. I'm not making fun. It's a great feature. Coming down, folks. Alright, guys, let me make sure this thing's not blurry because I want to show you guys the new office as it is now. Phase one is done. So there's two phases. I think I mentioned it before. Phase one is there we go. The office area where everybody's going to work, or already is working. And then phase two is behind me in this door. Hasn't gotten started yet. That's where the cafeteria and a nice break area is going to be. It's going to be awesome. Uh, we got Laura over here. We had a rough day the other day. She ended up in the emergency room because her doctor was worried about her. She had a lot of pain near her, her uh, right lung. And so we went to get the pain checked out. And the doctor was like, nope, you were shipping you to the emergency room because as soon as they found out she was on a long flight uh, within 10 days, they got nervous, they thought she may have a blood clot or pneumonia. So that was that, she's, she's in a lot of pain and she's been in pain even the, when we were at the beach yesterday. But she's much better than she was the other day. She couldn't even sleep, even in her sleep she was making these sounds like you could tell she was just hurting. But there she is, she's beautiful as always. Thank you. But it turns out she has inflammation around her right lung and it's, it's some painful stuff. So the doctor was, uh, they did a lot of tests, they checked her out, I hope they were right because I was really worried about you. And, well, I'm um, still worried because it's like not, it's ridiculous. It's like not, it's like not going away. Well, so. it's the summer and the cough just irritates it even more and more. Ugh. So let me show you guys what we have going on here. This is your office. So this is my office, getting set up. I want to show you the, the, the window walls, how nice these came out. So this is the glass window walls that go in between each office. So that's Brian, my brother back there. Conference room over here. Yeah, I should turn some lights on. So, um, and it's not totally done. Phase two is going to make a big difference. All right, so here we go. Let me give you the tour. So this is our conference room. I think I may have shown this before. Not a whole lot has changed. Conference room uh, with the, uh, the nice brass lights over top of the table here. And then for extra light, I put in these fluorescents because I wanted to make sure it was nice and lit up for those darker days and late nights. We've got the TV set up. I haven't put a CPU on there yet because the, uh, you know, we gotta, we gotta be able to put presentations up there and whatnot right now. We'll just use whoever's laptop it is. Don't mind the wire mess here. This is getting in a nice little J channel thing. It's gonna ride up the back. It'll look nice. This is our workstation area here. This is Eloy's desk. You can see he's already been using it. This desk needs a wall around it. We originally weren't gonna do it because we we're just gonna use that wall, but it feels nice to have a little closed in section. And this is another spare spot. So we have two more places for two new employees that we haven't hired yet. Bree Bree's office over here, of course, hers is all decorated and cute. Mine, not so much. Looks beautiful though. She's got a wonderful view of our soil mixing station out there. Isn't that nice? I'm gonna do something about that. In fact, that's probably gonna become a main entrance for the place. Little print station. We have to get an all in one network connected all in one station so we can do some scanning and whatnot. Um, my office. And I actually mentioned this before that these walls are made out of reclaimed pallet wood. And somebody had asked if this was actual pallets or was it just the wood from a pallet factory? And it, it, it is actual pallets that were cut up and turned into walls. And the reason we do it, do it that way is number one, you re, you're actually reclaiming the wood rather than just using new wood. And you get sort of a random wear look, which is really cool. You can actually see, I mean, the whole point of this is to have exposed nails and to have things that make it look very, uh, you know, it's, our, it's the look that we wanted, the very reclaimed look, and that's what that is. It looks very nice. We actually have an entire pallet wall here. And there's going to be a big logo on here in the middle, our big Arizona East logo. And then our salesman's office is back here. And uh, we're already out of space. Like we have two more cubicles, but I think we're gonna end up um, in trouble. We're gonna need some more room. But that's gonna be where the, the phase two goes, the cafeteria area. We could put another office in there, or 
we can expand out that door and build in like a sales area because I do feel like that's the next area of growth around here. Looks like somebody organized my desk to make it look nice. I didn't leave it that way. I guess Bree did that. I, mean, I know it was driving her nuts that it looked it looked un, unkept in here, especially with the glass walls now, and you can see right in. And of and course, we get our new doors. Yeah, we're getting doors similar to that at our house. We're getting French doors for his office soon. In the next couple of weeks. Yeah, well, I, I just ordered an organizer thing for all the, the stuff that's all over my office. And what do you think of that? What? You didn't see that yet. Oh, I love that. I love that. I put those in at each, what, each office so that everybody can charge their phone without I having a brick that. hanging out of the wall. It's just nice. Very convenient. You can plug in any USB that. device into it. And just so you guys know, um, I'm going to be doing some cool stuff to our house soon. And it's exciting. It's very exciting. Now that I feel like, not that work or anything has slowed down, but like a little, well, not really. It's just that we found we finally found the time to get everything together and well, we've been moving out of the old house, but right, we're actually going there now yeah, to go do right some more of that stuff. people and stuff like that, and, and I'm, I'm pumped. It's gonna look so good. All right, so we're back in our old neighborhood because we went to get the remaining final stuff out of our old house today. And look what I found for you, sweetheart. You're gonna love it. You ready for this? Yes. Look what's on the mirror. Oh, Aztec friend! It's one of Lara's favorite insects, the Aztec friend, as she puts it. He's right there. They used to be all over our light on our front porch at the I old love place. The well, maybe we should bring him in here and let him loose at the new place, and then he'll make a colony of them. I'm down for that. You want to do that? One beautiful bug. It's a beautiful bug. It's all right. We're gonna get. Um, what are we doing here? I'm hot. You're hot. We're gonna head out. Well, well, well. Back in the car. Eleven seventeen. Yeah. That makes no sense. It took us an hour and a half. Yeah, we didn't hit any traffic at all, which is crazy. All right, let's see where we have to go here. You want to take this thing? I'm gonna try to maneuver my way through. Okie dokie. What part are we at right now? We oh, we're in uh, Times Square. Not yet, but we will be. That's where we need near to go. Times Square. We need to go to 57th and 8th, and then 
and then we should figure out whether we're gonna get lunch now. I don't know. I don't we're know. Gonna know get I'm lunch hungry. later. I know. It's a, it's a it's a tricky situation. I think we'll get lunch late. I'm not hungry. If we go now, we don't have to stick around the city. Right. After. Oh, guys! Totally forgot to tell you. We were at the beach a couple days ago, and a bird pooped on me. And then 20 minutes and later. And then 20 minutes later, it pooped on him. <laughs> Same spot, like right by, my, right by my belly button. I was laying there and I felt something hit me. I thought, who threw sand at me? I looked down and it was bird poop. It was Kakadzuki. And then the bird did it to him. Mm -hmm. How about that? Is that good luck? Is that double good luck? Is that good luck? When if a bird poops on you, is that good luck? I don't know. I've never, I have never had it done. Make America great again. There's Mr. Trump. Man, he, he is. Uh, some advertising. He just has the mobile ad truck sitting right here. Uh, just sitting right there. All right, you got the Banash Bar, Fluffy's Cafe. No? No. When Laura wants something, Laura wants something. She knows what she wants, folks. She wants La Pain. This way. It is consistently good. You don't have time. You know it's quick. You don't have time. You know it's the service is quick and the food is good and good for you. You go there. That's right. This is um. I've stayed around here before with you. <laughs> and we went to breakfast. I thought it was over there. Is that different? I should have gone there for my nana. Oh yeah, look at that. The Christmas cottage. Well, we should oh, go back to Italy for South. Christmas. She wanted something Christmassy. What is it that she wanted? She wanted just some Christmas decorations. Oh, that's right. But she asked me a week before we were leaving for Italy, so I couldn't find anything. <laughs> that look right there? Yeah, don't do that. She just told me I look great. She's wrong because I need a haircut. You look great. Everything but the hair. Thoughts? You look great. I think your hair looks wonderful. I, I think, think my hair looks awful, awful and it needs to be shaved off. That's what I'm getting done. Sometimes you just have to live your life and repeat. Yeah. Except I didn't get my hummus this time. I'm still trying to get over my Italy excursion. You okay? You look like you're worried about getting lemon in the eye. Yeah, I know. Oh boy, here she goes with her construction zone. She's always inspecting. Look at that, it's a big hole. Oh, there's another one. Look at this, you're in luck. You are, today's your lucky day. This is a big jump. I don't know what all that stuff is for. No. Hmm. Thought we were gonna get lucky here. No. Find a Starbucks. But I don't think so. I think that they have the Bouchon Bakery instead. Going to check out the Whole Foods, guys. See if our stuff is here. I don't even know when we sent the last order to these guys. It's been nice. A lot of people came up to say hi to Laura today. Yeah, that was great. Um, let's see. I think it'll be over here. All right, we're cool. I don't have to call anybody, all right? I thought we were gonna have, have to make a call. <laughs> kind of a tricky spot, though. Well, it's, it would be good if this cart wasn't here, but that's, that's a temporary thing. All right, but it all looks good. Laura did phenomenal today. She always does. This is the face of a very proud husband. You know that? No. This is the face of a blind woman. Can't call myself. I don't know. You got light eyes. So um, we're heading back to the car. We gotta go. We got our coffee in hand. So you're gonna have to look for Laura in a couple of months. You're gonna have to look for her in People magazine. You're gonna have to look for her in a Red Book magazine. You got a lot of good stuff going on here. So. This is it, folks. I don't even know where we parked. I think it's written on the ticket. Glad you didn't wear a dress, you said? Why didn't you? I don't know. It is hot, man. I don't know why I wore long sleeves. There's nothing, nothing less comfortable than having pit stains. It's like empty in the city today, huh? Very empty, isn't it? I don't know if it's a summertime thing. If anybody's from New York watching, does it empty out this time of year? Or is it just like a fluke day? You know what we ought to do? We should go get a picture of Times Square for Sal and Elena. That's what we should do. Yeah, that we should. That, that's what we're going to do. They'll be here in a month. I'm so excited. So excited. That is. He's in a hole. The guy's in a hole. He's 
I love construction zones. I do. I love construction zones. But I like construction zones when I can see all the way in the building. Ow. Now she's in her element, folks. Stop and get some produce on the way home. What are those? Dinosaur eggs. Jalapenos. Jalapenos. Get some cucumbers. What do we have over here? Here's where the corn is at. That's what I want. I know we mentioned to you guys we went to the old house and got like the final stuff out of there. Well, some of that stuff was books. So we put up a nice new bookshelf. And that's the old one. Which I think I'm going to give to somebody at the nursery. I'm sure Martin will uh, be lined up waiting for it. He loves these things. Um, but look, isn't that nice? It's, I think it's really pretty. Real beautiful. Nice. And um, look. I even put my books on there. Adele. Is that the famous singer? My mom. I know, that was a joke. See? So that's good. Now, boy, done our recipes in here. So Laura's getting better. Getting it. Your books are a lot prettier than mine. Your books are beautiful, baby. Oh, I, this is technically yours. Which one is that? The Amalfi Coast. Remember my mom's friend oh, yeah, got yeah. this for you? It's yeah. beautiful. Beautiful book. We should get some of these pictures printed. Yeah, that's very nice. I'll show you some of the lemon ones I saw. I found. Look, this looks like, I mean, it's just beautiful, huh? And it is very beautiful. And there then there's some of lemon lemon trees in here that are really. Look at that. We had a great time there. I cannot wait. Look at that. And that's just amazing. Yeah. Actually, isn't that where we parked? Yeah. It's the parking lot. Well, looks really pretty. Like it. There it is. That's really cool. I love and that. you know what they make with Amalfi lemons? That's why they make lemon chili, you know. Oh, look, look. This looks like the photo I have that I took. That's the parking lot right there. Yeah. We parked right there. And there's like a bridge that goes out to a little, there's like a house out there. I think so. Look at that water. Mm. Can't wait. Have 30 days until Sal gets here. 30 days. You're going to yeah, learn some not. TCPIP. Come soon. See, this is the, um, this is a book where a lot of the traditional Napoletana recipes come from that my nona has, that she's given to me, and um, my pastiera, struffoli, zeppoli San Giuseppe, which I really need to make next year for Laura in the kitchen. These sfogliatelle ricce, I tell you what, they're a lot harder to do than you think, but these liscia ones I can do for you for Laura in the kitchen because I have a good recipe for those. I'm sure it's from this book, but my mom gave it to me. She's been making forever. You know who made them last time? Elenia's mom. Yeah, but that's not you know what they call about? them. They call them Sfogliatella Napoletan. Sfogliatella Lisce. Hmm. They're still Napoletane. I think Salvatore steered me the wrong They're way. They're still Napoletane, but one's, one's like flat without any ridges and crisp. And the other one has got all the layers of flaky. Well, that flaky pastry is hard to do, and I have not mastered that. Well, before we sign off here, can I show you something cool? Sure. I want to show you something cool. Actually, you have something cool too that you found when we were. Don't you don't know where it is? Out. All right. Well, when you find it, and I have some things I found while we were moving too, which are kind of funny things. Wait, is that it right there? No, that's not the right book. This is what I want to show you. Wow. Is that cool or what? That looks legit, right? We got the logo in the background. Everybody's getting new phones at the uh, office. I've been working on this and a new phone system because right now, as it is, we have no way to know. Believe it or not, we have no way to know how many calls are made from each extension. Mm. Think about that. You can only look at the bill and see the total number. But I'm setting it up so we'll be able to log and get sales goals and all that fun stuff. Anyway, I'm going to go get this thing edited. We're going to sign off here. we got a lot of exciting stuff coming up. Hope you guys are, I hope you guys are ready. Well, it looks like a disaster in here. But it will look really good in about an hour. How's that? Well, it's going to look amazing soon. Well, give us some love. A little thumbs up. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Oh goodness, this is not working for me. Because yeah. I can't, I, I'm not. Yvonne underscore vertigo said, Laura, are you allergic to any foods or is there a food that you really don't like? I don't like eel at all. There's a few things I don't like, but eel is like the very, 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 very top. How about alligator? Would you eat alligator? No, I would not eat alligator. What if I told you I fed you alligator before and didn't tell you? You're joking. <laughs>